love to honor a prep player. And as Bill alluded to, you know, typically we keep it within uh, Shelby County, but tonight it's a special occasion uh, because we have a very special young man. Uh, his name is Trey Smith, University School of Jackson. Let me tell you, before Trey comes on up, let's, uh, let me tell you a little bit about him and, and what kind of a student athlete, and he truly is a student athlete. As Father Vera mentioned, uh, the coach at uh, USJ, Rusty Bradley, they're six and two so far this year. They'll be back in town on Friday night to play uh, a big game against Briarcrest. Uh, want to formally introduce uh, his dad, Henry. Glad to hear all the time you say. Coach Bradley could not attend tonight. I think they have a JV game. He had some other responsibilities over in Jackson, but representing the school is the guidance counselor, Carol Ryan. Carol, thank you for being here. We appreciate that. I'm going to go in reverse, and I'm going to, I'm going to talk about the student athlete, the student part of this before I get to the football piece. Trey has a 3-5 GPA. He is a member of the Spanish club, the international club, and I'm told according to his bio, he has a secret, secret hidden talent, maybe it's not so secret, of being a singer, and his singing abilities, he's in the school choir, and is also uh, was voted all West Tennessee Honor Choir. So oh. your hidden secret isn't so hidden anymore, Craig. Right? <laughs> He's also involved deeply in the Jackson community, especially with uh, the Salvation Army, among other things. He's uh, been a volunteer for the Salvation Army Red Kettle campaign during the holiday season and also has participated with the Angel Tree program. Now to the football side, and this is special. Again, this is one of the reasons uh, we wanted to have uh, Trey here, and this is a first for this club, I believe. Steve Earhart and I have been around this club for a long time introducing uh, high school athletes, but I think this is a first for us. Trey is ranked not just the number one prospect in the state of Tennessee, but he's also the number one prospect in the entire country, according to ESPN. <laughs> sign of a leader on a team is what your teammates think about you and they obviously have Trey and, and, and hold him in high regard. He's a team co-captain this year. He's been a starter at USJ since his freshman year. He led USJ to the semifinals of the state uh, playoffs last year. Uh, was a finalist for the Mr. Football Lineman of the Year Award as a sophomore. He won the award last year. He's also been selected as an Under Armour All-American, a U.S. Army All-American, uh, nominated for Gatorade National Player of the Year. So the, the bio, the resume as a student and as an athlete, very impressive. And we're so proud to have Trey Smith, come on up Trey, to be honored tonight as the all <laughs> Great program, 
set him up for success, but also the time he puts in every day that will develop me into a young Christian man, you know. I mean, I, I'm very appreciative of all those things. And I just very humbly accept this award, you know. I thank you all for attending tonight. Now, there may be one or two people in this crowd that follow recruiting. Talk about the schools that you're looking at, where are you taking your trips, or, or is that still something to come uh, yet in the recruiting process for you? Just talk about that a little bit. Uh, well, I received my first offer at uh, age 14. Sorry, I think was how to think about it. But, uh, <laughs> my first offer is from University of Mississippi. Uh, I remember, man, when I got that offer, uh, honestly, I did not really know what it meant to receive a scholarship offer. I always had aspirations and dreams of playing college football. But at that moment, when Hugh Freeze offered me my scholarship, it was just sort of a surreal moment. Uh, but you know, it, it's been a great process. Sometimes it's just too much, it can be overbearing. Um, you know, coaches hitting your phone up in the middle of the night, trying to see, you know, or people hitting you in the early mornings. But I mean, it's a tremendous blessing. I take it day by day, honestly. Uh, but visiting, you know, visiting wise, uh, that I don't know. <laughs> We've been to almost every school that's offered me. That's about 30. So um, it's, it's, been a, it's been a blessing, an amazing opportunity. Making a decision and, and making that decision known. Uh, I'll make my decision December sixth. I mean, excuse me. Yeah, no, December sixth. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, I'll make it at the University School of Jackson uh, at four at three thirty. Um, it'll be probably be televised, so it'll be, it'll be a big thing. <laughs> That's pretty big. Now, now, final thing. All this football talk, we're gonna, we, we've left that behind now. Just, just talk about this singing thing. <laughs> <laughs> is, is any particular style that would you like to uh, show off a little bit and sing something for us? <laughs> <laughs> you know, what was there? Was there a suggestion from the crowd? That may not work tonight. <laughs> well. Thank you for being here. We're proud that we could honor you. We wish you the best. Anything in closing you'd like to say? Uh, just thank you. Thank you. Thank you to everybody who attended tonight. Here we go.